So to wrap up this first day of shooting in Kyoto during my uh, recent trip there, I wanted to go to this uh, area called Sanezaka. This is where you can find the Kyo Mizudara, but also the Yasaka Pagoda. It is pretty much the first and second results you can get uh, on Google Images if you type Kyoto. So this is a really popular and busy place, but I wanted to take advantage of the absence of uh, foreign tourists to get there and uh, grab a few shots. So I took my Sony a7 IV with the standard zoom lens I have, the Tamron 2875, and I headed out to shoot, and let's check out the results. So how was my comeback to Kyoto as a street travel photographer-ish? Um, I've been to Kyoto many times before, uh, three times to be uh, accurate, and I've always been there as a, as a tourist with um, a small camera with me. And this time I had the chance to go there with a, a bit more serious uh, gear and serious uh, ambitions. So it was really funny, but I put myself a uh, kind of a lot of pressure, I guess, because I wanted to uh, get the most out of it and uh, being able to create some uh, YouTube videos. But I felt really uh, privileged to be there because uh, there was a few foreigners, but looking at them, they were pretty much uh, living there, I think. So I could really go to some really popular places and grab uh, good shots with uh, only few people. So in that aspect, it was, it was really good. And then, yeah, I also realized how Kyoto is uh, such a, a touristy place in normal times. And um, that's for a reason, like everything is, is beautiful and uh, there is a really nice atmosphere there. And um, even though it could become a bit mainstream, I think, I think it's uh, for a reason. <laughs> So the upcoming pictures you'll see is uh, technically wrong, I missed focus, but I don't know why, like uh, I grabbed a, a quick shot because there was such a lot of people with different style, I guess, and even though I technically failed this shot, I kind of like it, I don't know why. During this photo session, you will probably see me um, oftentimes kind of uh, blocking the frame. I try to position myself behind something to incorporate some uh, foreground. And I do this because I want to add some depth and some uh, kind of a 3D effect in my pictures. Um, it is quite often used in photography, but I think it's more used in, uh, in movies. Um, but I 
but I always like to have kind of a cinematic feel in my photographs, so that's why I use this technique uh, quite a lot. At this point you will see uh, a few times this uh, little kid taking uh, pictures uh, just in front of me and uh, I like to uh, incorporate him in my shots. And uh, as a photographer it was really nice to see uh, a kid really enjoying taking pictures with an actual um, compact camera I think and not with a phone. So yeah, I hope he will just uh, keep on taking pictures and get uh, better at it. So my quick impressions about uh, Kiyomis Dara. So once again, it's uh, such a popular place that has been seen, visited, and photographed a million times. But um, I think there is a there's a quite uh, valid reason for that. It is really uh, just majestic. Even more at the time I was uh, shooting there, just around sunset. Not not real sunset, but uh, around golden hour sunset. It was just uh, fantastic. It costs a good uh, 600 yen to actually uh, enter in the premises of the temple, but I think it's worth it. And also all the little streets leading to the temple are really uh, super nice and reminiscent of uh, Japan of 100 years ago, which makes a really nice spot to take quite uh, good pictures, I think.
Appuie un tout petit peu plus fort et ça va faire la mise au point automatique. Attends, attends, I'll just stop it there because I have a kind of a fun story about uh, these uh, last three shots. So I took these and looking at the back of my uh, camera, I was like, oh, they, they look cool. So I was like, ah, maybe uh, maybe this guy want, uh, want these pictures for, for, for himself or his social media or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I prepared my, my best Japanese and uh, told him that I just took these pictures and uh, asked if he ever wants me to send them via, via Instagram or whatever. And he just politely refused, saying that <laughs> he didn't need them. So same with this uh, Yasaka Pagoda, it is popular for a reason, it was really impressive and beautiful to, uh, to see it in such conditions, like the, um, the lightning, the sunset was, was on point and of course I was lucky to be there with uh, only a few people, but uh, I have to say that my favorite shot I took there is probably uh, this one. I always like to uh, incorporate human subjects in my pictures. And when it's just uh, one subject at the right place, it's um, just perfect. I think it's uh, more lively and uh, it tells a better story to have one subject in the frame rather than just having the, the landscape or, or whatever you're, you're shooting at. And that's a wrap. Um, thank you for sticking around and I will push a little bit more and uh, ask you if you could uh, leave a like or a little comment. That would be really nice. And yeah. Don't please others, stay true to yourself and create whatever you like. Bye.